Hello and welcome back to more Mob Psycho. I am here with my reaction to episode 5. Now I'm not gonna lie, I was like, what is going on in the last episode? It's just like a bunch of bullies coming at each other. There was like a ton, not that I'm saying the... The guys who do all the like heavy lifting or that are bullies because they don't seem to be but they are super strong and they don't take no sh except when you have powers because then it's cheating it's it's cheating right so they got taken down we found out that mob wasn't actually trapped at all he just didn't want to use his powers on people he's been very open about that. Now we're stood in front of someone who has the same powers but doesn't care so much about using them on people. He's happy enough to do that. So he's taken down everyone except for Mob. I do think that Mob will leave him be. I think he's gonna just try and find a way to stop him, immobilize him, that's the word I was looking for. But I don't think he's gonna hurt him in any way. I have been wrong before though, I've been wrong before. Let's delve on in to episode five. If you wanna watch this video unedited, make sure you head on over to my website, susilu.co.uk and become a VIP member. VIP members get access to all the videos early. They also get access to VIP only series. They get access to my VIP only Discord. So nobody else is allowed into my Discord, only VIPs are allowed in there. And of course the VIPs will get a shout out in my videos, we have a VIP of the day so i hope to see you over there impossible are are you a natural someone with powers like me and what's that creepy looking ball of energy next to you huh? he's like i'm not creepy how dare you kill him mob there are a bunch of questions i want to ask you but first we need to establish something how the hierarchy works around here the what <laughs> Oh my god, he's gonna freak out in this episode. Oh, my hair's falling out. Actually, I think that's Finny hair. <laughs> Not that you guys could see any of that. I got dog hair everywhere today, you guys. Typical when there's a power struggle, somebody needs to know who is stronger overall. Mob isn't like that. He's just kind of trying to get through his life, you know? as best he can. I think I mixed up in the start of the last episode. Um, I thought Reagan was one of these bullies. I thought that we had had a little bit of a flashback, but that wasn't the case whatsoever. And I kind of wish that it was. I would have liked to have seen Reagan growing up. Maybe I don't actually. But what is Mob gonna do? He doesn't want to fight anyone. Make sure you're subscribed guys to my channel for daily reactions now remember be careful Shigeo even you could get tripped up if you don't take sorry I wasn't listening <laughs> why do you keep trying to attack me yeah stop going after mob he doesn't want to hurt you back and for the first time ever he's meeting someone who could be his natural enemy if he doesn't establish his superiority right away, there will always be a struggle for power between them. But all that aside, what's with those weird movements? They're kind of like wire stunts. He kind of reminds me of Gran Torino versus Midoriya in the house that time. Midoriya is like, chun, 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 and Gran Torino's like, what? But this strategy I use against average people looks like nothing more than weird movements to him. <clears throat> Damn it. Shigeo. You need to teach this kid a lesson here. Show him that you're not someone to mess around with. I know you don't want to hurt him, but you need to restrain him. Like, stop this. That kid's putting his abilities to good use and living a fulfilling life. On the flip side, look at you. You live quietly one boring day after another. Do you really think there's anything appealing about you without your psychic powers? Are you just trying to wind him up? Because it's working. Confidence in your powers is fine, but you mustn't get conceited. Depending on how we choose to use them, they can also be deadly weapons. <laughs> They're just the same as knives, and you know what not to do with them, right? I feel 
this is a really good lesson, though. I feel like Mob is a good kid. And that's the moral code people like us with special powers need to live by. That gets ruined once you know Reagan said it. <laughs> I was gonna say, did his dad tell him that? But no, it was Reagan. I'm gonna improve myself. You say that, but... Kigeo! How'd you like that? A telekinetic tackle with all my weight behind it! Oh, this isn't cool though. How far are you gonna go to prove that you are the better psychic, huh? Bringing out other potentials when you have these powers is useless! Working out, studying, ridiculous! Leave that crap to the masses! But you can have these powers and you can still be a good person and you're not a good person. How about we just end all this and call it a draw, okay? No way. Ending in a draw with a guy like that would be the biggest disgrace of my life. I understand you feeding your ego, but I can't have you breaking Shigeo either. He's not going to fight back, so obviously he's going to lose. Why do I feel like he's about to... Ooh! Tempo. Most of my spiritual powers did erased, so I'm pretty much just some leftover scraps. Even so, I shouldn't have any problem serving up some discipline. Oh my god, so he's able to do this again anyway. He's not some second-rate loser like... <sighs> oh my god, is he dead? Did is he know? dead? I erased that thing with my psycho away from the core, so there shouldn't be a single shred of him left. No! I really liked him! But he grew on me! Forget about your club. Work on your psychic powers instead. That Tsubomi sure got a nice ass, doesn't she? Oh my god, now it's just showing all the reasons why he probably should have been obliterated anyway. <laughs> hey! Want me to show you how to use x-ray vision? Ha! Fooled you! I don't know either, you pervert! Just for a sec, would you do me a solid and let me take over your body? But he defended Mob, though! He defended him and you just wiped him away! Some idiots get the wrong idea if everything isn't spelled out for them. They actually think they could be someone special if they put in a little effort. Be more confident! After all, you're the main character! He's not listening to you, dude. Why do you have to belittle other people by calling them things like average or small fry? Huh? I mean, I just realized Dimple might have been an okay guy. That's all. Compared to you, anyway. What did you say? Well, how can you even think that you're a nice guy? You're a massive douche lord. Nothing will stand in my way! That's dangerous. If it wasn't me, you could hurt someone. So stop. Are you trying to tell me that you won't get hurt? I'll teach you to underestimate my power! My god! Come on, Mob! You're gonna have to do something! This guy's insane! And also, is no one else seeing this? Not a scratch, though. Not a scratch. Come on, Mob! Get in there! I told you to stop doing that. Uh-oh. Show me these powers of yours! If you won't let me see them, we'll have to try something else. You really don't want him to go 100%. You don't. Come on, Mom! Fight him back! You don't have to hurt him, but you can fight him back! That hurt. The home ec room. Knives. Oh no, I knew it was gonna be knives. Don't try to order me around, Runt. You'll just reduce your lifespan. I have no intention of killing him. I just want him to fight back. Well then maybe you shouldn't be using knives! You cause an accident. Huh? Oh my god, we didn't kill him, did we? You did this on purpose, didn't you? <gasps> it was an accident. <clears throat> You're dead! Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Zero percent for the top of his head. Listen, it'll grow back. It's fine. It'll take a few years. It's fine. I won't Wear a hat. You, no matter what you say. You said you weren't gonna kill us. How dare you! You think I look like some middle-aged pencil pusher now, don't you? <laughs> uh, I didn't say that. But you thought it. 
Well, I mean, you don't exactly look good anymore. Sorry. I'm Taruki. Taruki Hanazawa. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you, Taruki. No, it's not nice. It isn't as if we're friends now or anything. I just wanted to know the name of my enemy before I rip you to pieces. Oh, so now you do want to kill him, huh? Oh my god. Yeah! Hey, stop this already. Oh, you're too nice. Mob is too nice. I'm popular and the main character of my story. This entire world and everything in it revolves around me. <laughs> This character is such a douche lord. I've actually met a lot of people like him. Now attack me! Let's have a test of strength! No way. Why not? I told you it's okay! Come at me! Because I don't want to hurt you, that's why. Oh, he's gonna take that as, oh, you think you're stronger than me? I think I just realized why you hate me so much. It's because you and I are the same. And not because we both have psychic powers. But the fact that you have no confidence in yourself. Same way that I don't. If you take away your abilities, there'll be nothing left. I love that it keeps showing his hair. <laughs> oh, man. You just don't want to admit that you're nothing without your psychic power. No! <laughs> Quit dreaming, idiot! The two of us are completely different, understand me? We're the same. From my perspective, you're just an average person. Oh, you're gonna make him explode! Oh my god, he's gonna actually try and kill him, but I don't think he'll be able to. Dude, go buy a wig for god's sakes. This is all your fault, you bastard! Everything was perfect. You got another high score? long as I used my powers, everything went just the way I wanted. Whoa, look at that shot. Yeah, so without your powers, you are literally nothing. And you just don't like someone pointing it out, though. Damn it! Use him! Use your psychic powers! What does it freaking matter? Stop it! Oh my god. I won't. Oh my god. We're going up again. We're going up again. Ah! Is this it? <laughs> Didn't you say you started working out? That means no matter how hard you try, whatever that was you called a punch is all you've got! Is that what makes you feel so much better? Is it? Like, what is your deal, dude? Let him go! Use your psychic powers! Otherwise, I'm going to... Like, you don't have to do this! You can let go! You can be better! Ritsu! I'm going to change. <gasps> Wait, he hurt his brother as well. But he obviously didn't mean to. Oh no, 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 this isn't good. And he sees red. Oh. Huh? Hey, Kageyama. Hey, wake up. Wait. Dude, you completely choked him out. He could be freaking dead. <gasps> Uh-oh. Now you've done it. Do you finally feel like fighting? Good! In the end, you couldn't stay true to your ideals either! Bring it! Ultimate barrier! Oh my god, this is an- Oh! It blew his claws off! My god! It, it didn't even know his percentage. Has he gone past a hundred? You broke down and used them against another person! So how does it feel? Huh? Is he unconscious? What is all this? What the hell is this power? You're not even another person anyway. You're another, like, psychic. Teru sensed something that must never be touched in there. Something incomparable. Its identity unknown. Maybe you should have been careful not to poke the bear. <laughs> this is way worse than last time. Is it because he also killed his friend? Oh, I guess I'm just an average person after all. Yeah. 
I think you are. Oh my lord. Mob realized. He failed to change as he had promised himself. He caused another accident because of his psychic powers. But he was being choked out! Like, it wasn't his fault! And the feeling he would never be able to conquer himself. Sadness. What had just occurred was Mob's meager attempt at resisting his inner self. So by resisting, it just became this way worse situation. Hanazawa, I, I'm sorry about but your clothes. Wait, Kageyama, I'm... I... What happened? Who won the fight? Uh, hey, look, it's Teru. He's right over there. Huh? And he's butt naked. <laughs> we were worried about you. You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine. Really. All right, then. Good to hear. Well, let's all go back and do some more squats. There's nothing I can say. I completely lost. What an amazing episode this has been. I'm like so drawn in right now. I love it. It's so hard for him though. So if he resists it, it's worse. He always ends up having to go 100%. I'm sorry about that one time. That one time? You mean when you got super carsick and threw up into the hood of my jacket? No. Well, sorry about that too. <laughs> I really can't remember what happened. So yeah, he did. He hurt his brother. Oh, he's going to definitely be feeling that one. Oh, you mean when those high school kids picked a fight with us? Don't worry, you didn't do anything to me. One of the punks kicked me away and I got hurt. But you were there to protect me. That's not what actually happened. He's saying that to make Mob feel better, but that's not what happened. Ritsu! You stay out of this, brat! Oh man. So it kind of seems like when he gets knocked out? Is that, that the case? That wasn't him. That wasn't my brother. I have no appetite. <laughs> he caught a cold. And he did catch a cold. <laughs> Hmm, okay. So the relationship between the brothers is... It seems really nice on the surface, but underneath all of that, it's quite complex. You've got both of them wishing that they could have traits of the other one. You know, obviously you've got Mob wishing that he could have the popularity of his brother, but then you have his brother wishing that he could have some of like the psychic side I guess he sees the strength in all of it I wonder if at some point he will end up becoming a villain because of things like that like if it'll turn him but why would he feel the need to lie to his brother and be like nah nothing happened it was all the bullies he seems to know more about when mob gets knocked out and what he becomes than mob knows himself I think my question is why would you not talk to him about it why would you keep it from him hmm interesting what an absolute fantastic episode that was we're only episode five into this but that was phenomenal i've already fallen in love with the characters of this show so fast like it's funny but it's also it's a lot darker than what i expected i don't know well, I expected a bit of like Jujutsu Kaisen. I think I said that previously already. But then because it was so funny, I just expected it would stay lighthearted. But now, knowing that Mob has this dark side that he just doesn't seem to even remember what goes on when all of this kicks off. And then him crying as well in that episode just just kind of touched me a wee bit. Mm, made me so sad. I don't want to see him cry. I want him to have an amazing life. And part of me feels like Reagan was actually correct in what rules he was saying to Mob as well. Just about, you know, don't hurt other people. And But it, it kind of depends on if he was only saying that because he never wants Mob to hurt him. 
Because if he ever finds out that Reagan is like using him and he's dirty and whatnot, then mob might attack reagan so if reagan tells him like oh that's a rule you can't do that then it's kind of saving him a little bit and our little green friend like is he gone for good i was just kind of warming up to the idea of him hanging about with us but i think he's gone i think he's gone for good you guys never mind all right i will catch you all in the next episode thank you for watching bye